hey guys welcome back to another video here at creators theory in today's video we'll see how to create a photo memory style effect or a photo memory effect using polaroid images and polaroid style images in filmora but before starting this tutorial if you don't have the latest version of filmora then you can download that from the link in the description below and if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe to our channel for more filmora related tutorials so let's get started with the tutorial guys so the first there are the video is divided into two parts so the first part we will be creating the polaroid images that you saw in the animation so here i am in canva so the link for this canva, canva application will be in the description below so before starting this video i just want to tell you we have already covered keyframing and animation in filmora you can check the video out by clicking in the top right corner but don't worry if you're new to animation we will take you step by step in this video so canva is a photo editing app where you can do photo editing uh, in the cloud online so here i am using a template which is 1218 to 720p so you can uh, use this template and create this uh, uh background create this canva and uh, once here i will go into elements and in elements i will go in frames so here you can see multiple frames but uh, one you will see a polaroid style frame so just click on it and uh, make the size as big as you want and just center it so once you're centered you can see this uh, scenery diagram in the middle so what we need to do uh, you can upload your required photos and uh, so i will be using uh, photos from this photo section over here these are all copyright free images uh, since i am the pro uh, user of canva so i have uh, access to this pro images you can uh, go for the pro images uh, with the free trial for seven days you can try it out the link for canva in this in the description so you can check it out so you can upload the photos from your your own photos and then use it but uh, i will be using this uh, images pre so copyright free images from here so what i will do i will just click it it will come into the canvas and then i will select it and i will move inside it so you as you can see the image has been added in the polaroid now what i will do i will just duplicate this now make sure you duplicate for each and every uh, polaroid because we want this polaroid uh, all the polaroids to be in different canvas so once you're done with this, we'll delete, select this photo and delete it and again and then again we'll select another image, drag it inside the Polaroid. So in this way, we'll keep on duplicating and adding multiple images. So I will skip this part for now since I, I hope you understand the gist of this exercise. So once you're done, th done with that, you can add a text in the Polaroid. Just click on that and add it over here so what i will do i will change this uh, style to go into handwriting i will select any handwriting font from here so let's go with this i will say girls day out i will change the color so that it's visible i will go with black so as you can see this is the font goes day out i'll add some space okay similar way you can add a text to all of these images and uh, then once you're done with all the images that you want to add into the animation just go over here and click on download and then download uh, make sure you select transparent background and then uh, make sure you select png file type and click on download so that's it with this first part of this video in the next part we'll see how to animate all this uh, polaroid images in filmora welcome to the second part of this video we are inside filmora now and i've uh, imported all the media the polaroid images that we created and uh, the next part is uh, i'll be using one of these sample colors as background you can use anything as a background i have included some copyright free background uh, copyright free websites where you can find these amazing background images so i will just take this one over here and i will 
make this 10 seconds and once you are done with that i will go into folders again and what i will do as you saw in the intro i had a fade in uh, erase style uh, uh, intro with start for this background so i will just add a fade in so let's just check that so as you can see this uh, this is style it's kind of fade in for this background so that's what we start with and then i will add the first image so make sure you add this image after the uh, this slide in happens after this uh, transition is completed and you can decrease the amount of uh, time for this transition and then the image starts so this is the image and make sure you track this image till the end and uh, this is image let me just what i will do so i want this so make sure you are adjust a little 10 frames ahead from the start and here just decrease the size a little bit and place it where you want it to be placed i want it a little tilt like this over here so next what i will do i will double click on it and click on add so this will add a keyframe over here so you can see the keyframe over here so i will go a few frames back like over here and i will tilt this a little bit and move it over here again i will move a few frames back again i will tilt this a little bit and move it a little over here then i will go to the first frame first frame of this uh, image and i will move it completely outside so once you're done click on ok and just play it so as you can see the animation has been done for this image Similarly, go into once. See, this is the last keyframe of this. Now add the second image about this and start it where the keyframes end. And here, similarly, we will add an animation for this. So again, place it, uh, make uh, reduce the size, and place it where you want it to be. I want it over here. Yeah. So place it over here. Decrease a little bit let's move ahead like around 10 frames or what you can do just double click directly and use from the preset animation so let me just use this vortex in so as you can see this is one of the animation i'll decrease the time click on ok now let me add uh, in the add the third image where the uh, keyframe of the last image ends and again continue adding animation whatever you want you can use from this predefined uh, animation again place this somewhere over here and i will again we will add a fade right animation click on ok similarly we will do this for all the all the images in our bin and then we will see you at the end so we have added a good amount of images into the timeline and edited them so we have added animation over them so let's just check out the entire preview of how this video looks So as you can see all the animation takes place and this is a beautiful memory style polaroid style images slide show and also animation all at the same time so that's it guys with this tutorial on uh, memory effect or memory photo effect or memory photo slide show whatever you like to call it i hope you guys like it uh, we have more uh, slideshow videos slideshow tutorials on our channel so you can check them out by clicking on the top right corner we also have some amazing keyframe and animation video in our channel so you can check them out and if you like this video then make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you like want to see more tutorials and want to learn more then subscribe to our channel and see you guys in another video till then see ya